hi guys you highly welcome back to eminence stitches channel thank you for your support thank you for being part of this family i really appreciate you guys god bless you today i will be sharing with us how to draft a corset pattern how to draft a corset pattern my i will be marking all my indications line i'll be marking all my indications line so my half length is 17 inches my bust point yeah then my under bust here is my under bust so after done with that i will mark across all these lines shoulder to shoulder measurement so after done with that from this point this point you have to come down with one inch for your shoulder slow like this then from this point you place back your tape measure this way then you mark down your arm hole here so i have done marking my arm hole the next thing now i will extend this point across this way then the next thing you connect this point to your chest line like this so from this place now on this my shoulder line i will be marking my neck width my neck width is three inches by three inches that is the neck depth and the neck width together then i will be using my cuff ruler to connect here to this place So after done with that, from this my neck line to your my shoulder slope. So I'll be using my ruler to do that. So guys, after done with all this, the next thing I'll be doing now, you just place your tape measure like this. You mark two inches upward, two and a half inches, 2.5 inches upward like this. You see this point I mark? On this point, you mark inward 0.75. Mark inward 0.75. You see? So now from this place, you are going to connect it here. So before doing that, you measure your the one quarter of your bust circumference measurement. That is what I'm measuring here. So you now connect this to this. So it's going to be like this. So from here now to this place, I will be finishing it off with my straight ruler. So after done with this now, the next thing I'm going to do on this one is to measure my nipple to nipple measurement. You understand? My nipple to nipple measurement is uh, 4 inches. This is 4 inches, then 4 inches. So this is my nipple point. So I'll be coming down by 1 inch from my nipple point. So I'll just connect it from the both side. You mark 0 0.5 for your dart leg. That's for your dart leg. So back my ruler to mark the other side. So after done with this now, the next thing you are going to do, I will label my pattern. This is my chest line. This is my boss point. This is my boss point. This is my under boss. This is my waist line. This is my under boss. So what I'm the next thing to do now from this place, between my underboss and my nipple point, let's measure it. I have three and a half inches here. So, this three and a half inches now, you now place back your tape measure on your nipple point. You place it back like this. So, you will mark it upward like this. Mark it like this. So, when you don't mark it, then you connect it across. So, let's mark it across. You see, I have done marking it across now. So the next thing to do now, you extend this, your dart leg towards this place. So in order to do that, I have to measure the four inches for my nipple to nipple, the same thing I marked here for my dart Mama, leg. I have to measure it here, then you connect it to this Mama, place. Okay guys, as you can see, I am done with that. So the next thing I will be doing now is that you come to this side. You measure, you know we have marked one quarter of our, our bust circumference measurement here. So the next thing now you measure your waist length, 
my waist length is uh, my waist circumference measurement. One quarter of my waist circumference measurement is 32. So marking my 32 here, then add back. After the marking it, you add back your dart intake. You place back your tape measure, whatever is your dart intake, you have to replace it back here. So guys, I am done replacing this. The next thing now you connect this list to this, your waistline to your bust line, to your chest line, I mean. So place B, you have to do now. You do your underbust tightening or your underbust tightening. So my underbust measurement is 31. So I'll place back my tape measure, mark my 31. Here is my 31. Now this is 30. Here is my 31. Here is my 31. So whatever remain here, you place back your tape measure this way. I have one and a half inches here. So this one and a half inches, we are going to share it here. But it's not going to be equal. We are not sharing it evenly. It's going to be half inch here, then one inch at this side. You know, this is the biggest part of the our breast. You understand? Because of that, I'll be taking one inch here, then half of an inch from here. You see the way I place my tape measure from this dart leg. I place my tape measure like this from the dart leg, not from the dart line. No. You see? Then the next thing to do now, you connect this point now, this one, to this place. That is an inch below your boss point. An inch, one inch below your boss point. So the next thing now, you connect it this way. So you flip over your ruler to connect the other side. Just the way you did the other one. Make sure you rotate your ruler till it gives you what you want to achieve. So guys, you can see what I got here. So the next thing now, from this waistline, you connect to this point and the same thing applicable to this other side. So guys, I'm done with this. So after I'm done with this, we have to come to this upper side. We have to come to this upper side. So from this upper side, now look at this place. At this both side now, this is our dart line. So we have we have to do our overboss tightening. This is our overboss tightening that I want to do here. So you can mark, you can use 0 0.5 or 0 0.75. But for me, I will be using 0 0.75. So guys, after I'm done with this, the next thing I will be doing now, look at this. This place. Whatever you are taking here, we are taking one and a half inches. You have to replace it back here. From this point, you have to replace it back. So like this. So I'll just place my cuff ruler, then connect it. So the next thing to do now, you place back your tape measure to this side. You measure two inches downward. That is the difference between the front pattern and the back pattern. Then you connect it towards this nipple point. It, has, it must touch the nipple point. So guys, after done with this now, the next thing to do now is to come to this point. This upper side, you place your tape measure, you mark down 0 0.75 or half of an inch, depends on you, downward. Then if you want your cleavage to be showing, if you want part of your breast to be showing, you can come down like one and a half inches or you place your tape measure from your boss point just mark two inches upward like this you understand but i won't do that i will just mark from this upper side now just mark down three quarter that is 0 0.75 i will just mark 0 0.75 downward like this so from this point now i will extend it by half of an inch so by the time we open it it's going to give us one inch you understand that is the distance between the two breasts so the next thing to do now i'll be connecting this point to this point you see so after done with that you just use your ruler to finish it up like this so after done with that now come back to this side this side now from this side now, from here, you connect it to this ammo line. This ammo line that comes from our shoulder. Here, you connect this place with it like this. So I'll just place my cuff this way. You see? Then there's other way you can do this one. This side. Just measure 
your under bust. Our under bust here is three and a half. So measure the three and a half here, then you connect it. So that will still give you the same thing. So as you can see, this is our cup. Our cup is ready now. This place is not that cup. I really want it cup. So guys, the next thing to do now is to open our waist that in order to enable us to cut, to close our bust that. So I'll go ahead now and cut this part. So here is the back pattern. The back. So I folded so this one under the front, front and pattern when I was making the front pattern. I so I will just line. extend those indications line. I will just extend those indications line. So as you can see, I am marking my hammer line, then connecting my shoulder slope. So after done with that, I'm marking one quarter of my bust circumference measurement. Then I'm marking half of an inch for my back tight knee. So I'll be connecting it. I'll be slanting my hand towards the upper side that way. So I took half of an inch there. So the next thing to do now, place back my tape measure. Then I'll be measuring one quarter of my weight circumference measurement. Then hard back the half inch I took and also, we are going to add our darts with it. So, I have added my darts now. So, the next thing, I will just mark my dart line. I will be marking my dart line, then connect it with my straight ruler. So, after done with that, I will take half of an inch at the both sides of my dart line. That is 0 0.5 I'm taking at the both side. Then, slightly connect it to my chest line slightly connected to my chest line then also from the the same thing applicable to the other side so after done with that now so the next thing to do now you come to this uh, front part that is center back and uh, middle you come to the back center middle you mark you place your tape measure downward, then you mark one inch. You mark one inch like that. That is how low you want the back of your corset to be. If you really want it to low, it will still come out beautifully. But it now depends on you. So now I'm placing my cuff ruler in order to give me a light cuff at the back. So then if you are you if we want to do yoke at the back, if you are putting yoke. Here, this upper side is for your yoke. So I place back my ruler to extend to redraw my dart legs. To redraw my dart leg. So after done with that, now I will just go ahead and cut my pattern. We don't need uh, to draft our ammo or whatever because I drafted it at the front because I want it to be more clear. So we have the knowledge of how to do that now. So I'm cutting off the back tightening. It's the purpose of that is just to eliminate the side bulge. Thank you for watching this video. The next thing now is to cut my dart line, then remove the dart intake. So, just stay tuned and watch the sewing part of this tutorial. You have to watch the sewing part. That is the beautiful thing about it. Watch the sewing part of it. So, I will go ahead now and place my pattern on my fabric. I will place my patterns 